So all these areas should be dangerous. We should avoid this area. And furthermore, people also think also have the, the impulse to give a bag. When someone keeps to get back, if you manage to get the bag further and then so you're out of his um, radius of action, that's fine. But if you can, as closer to the head of his of his leg, of his of his foot, the more dangerous it is. So in this case, as we are uh, tending to to have a very tight space, as we we're going to have in Jutsu, what we do is this uh, this area, this volume is dangerous. However, this is not. The only danger, uh, only danger part of his body, only dangerous part of, of his body you could think of is his hands, his elbows, his arms, and his head. He could try to strike us with that penis. So for us to avoid these two, what we do is it's this. You should always try to enter guard and protect it. Always, always. However, in this, in this sequence, when we come to catch these legs. So we must do this, we must do this posture here. Just um, a transition posture. A posture will be a posture we should use from here, from, from getting here until here, until here. It is just a way that we could go from one point to the other um, with safety. So our checkpoint here should be we have this by a very short, very close by. We have this part of our elbow and arm, forearm and hand protecting us. And also we should be from here to here, not from here to here. We should be positioned very close to him, like this. So this is our next checkpoint. So, once we got in here, we enter with our shoulder, very, very close to him. Uh, we would actually try to strike him to hit him. And we'll take this leg, and this leg, and we'll do this. His left arm was to also provide a supporting point for us to do. Because you know, in this timing, he might not be able to, to put his his left leg to the ground, over the ground. So we can't say this arm acts as a locking point. Um, but in this very short time, it will help us to keep, to keep us tight to him for doing this. The most common, common mistake here is trying to, trying to pull his feet towards him. And I know, although if you could even manage to, to put him down, like this, you can find some kaki, some, some fall in here. When he gets down, he would be with his legs inside your legs. For instance, you 
And so this, this guard should make your next movements much more difficult. So you are already doing it and trying to set the basis for your, your, your next movements. So. Downward. You see, there is no need for grabbing, for holding, just supporting like this. So right now, very slowly, I will go down. I'll take my body down, aiming more or less to where his head is aiming to, like this. And I'll stretch my, I'll stretch my body, and my left leg, my left foot will. Stretch his right leg, his right thigh, and this. The instructor should have the, his ideas and his formation also being able to be capable of understanding which are the most common mistakes and uh, which angles and movements could potentially lead to injuries. In this case, in this particular case, once he falls, you know, the, the reason for us to, uh, to pulling his, his legs apart, you know, outward, or outward our body, is that, as we just saw, if his legs are outward our body, he is uh, less capable of defending himself. It's more easy for us to set our, our fits and to set our, our following technique, our final block. However, in this case, the kid should have a concern here, which is because he's here. When I do this, even though his leg is upward, it's, I mean, uh, it's outside of my body. When I do this, if I find this angle, he'll have a very strong leverage you know, over his his femur and his thigh. So in this case, the OK should also be aware of how dangerous this angle might be for him once he's locked in all this center part of his body. And so uh, for him, this angle is very dangerous and could lead very easily to injuries anyway, his, over his femur and his, and his knee, his left knee. So he'll actually try to set this position, this position. And uh, in this point, it's very important for us that we, we are able, we're capable of setting this, this fit and this pressure downward. You know, this cross of, uh, for us to be able to cross this line of his hara and enter pressing, so we can turn over this pilot. It's very important because when we are here, we could have this situation. So, what happens is, he would also try to find this, this posture for him, so he tries to, to keep himself guarded and, and protected. And uh, as you could say, uh, he would try to regain or to reset his position with his hips. It's, uh, it's a, very, a very common practice and a very useful tool, a very useful resource in uh, in school. So, for instance, he, he comes, and we reset our hip. And he comes from the other side, and we reset again. Always looking for, always guarding and, and protecting our, our all other parts of our body. This part, this part, this part. This part should be always well protected. And so this could repeat indefinitely. And for us to avoid that, when we are in the position of body, what we do is Here. So instead of just moving from here to here, we must set a pivot uh, above this this cross, above this this line. The cross, I mean, is this line of his hara and this line of my hara. 
see, so once we are here, we know that he cannot find this angle because it would be very dangerous to him. But yet he would try to do this and to keep moving and resetting his position. So what we do is we enter very closely with this knee pressing downward, and in the end we, we put some real pressure here and he put this uh, the back of his thigh, you know, very stretched. So we keep this it's tight here. And uh, we put our uh, we put our body over the floor the closest we can to his head, to his shoulder, without hurting him, of course. 